Hi there, Michelle from Snazzy Scrappin and I'm here today to show you um, another one of our creator card die sets that I designed for Father's Day. So this one is a wallet card and you've got uh, two little things here that you pockets that you can put a gift card in and you could put a photo there where I've put that one and then you've got a pocket for money and um, this one you could put your cinnamon on and then it closes so this is a seven die set and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together okay so I've done this one in uh, the paper boutique winter romance and a basil um, cardstock to for the base so this is the base die it's a seven die set so I don't know whether you can see on that one but it has two fold lines there so it virtually makes the the base of the wallet with the two fold lines so then you've got this one which is your money pocket so that also has two small fold lines so it ends up this little part that we put in there so we're going to put that in first now I'm using the silicon foam tape this is really sticky but it's also clear and has a one millimeter foam depth so it still gives some dimension so you can create little pockets but it's not too thick that it makes the project you're doing stand up too much so it is quite tricky to get the backing off and you do need a little practice with it and these tweezers are probably the only thing that you can do it with unless you've got super sharp fingernails which don't look at mine it's sort of like jelly very sticky jelly very different okay so you need to make sure you've got that fold in the middle there and of course you want it down the bottom because the note sits in there like that beautiful so that's done so you then get in there this frame die you don't have to use it if you don't want to and you could use the photo on it if you wanted to but we're going to use that but it's ideal for photos and we're also going to use it as a pocket so you can put something in behind if you want to so I'm going to stamp I'm going to use something out of our Father's Day stamp and die set so this one has pictures from Linard artwork on it and I'm going to do this happy birthday might end up oh this one's going to be for somebody's birthday probably end up being hubby's with some money tucked in okay I probably should have seen before I did that whether it's gonna be cut off with the pocket oh no that's gonna be fine so I'm just gonna put that like that I'm gonna tape it in there but I'm of course I'm not going to Peel the back off. Probably could just use sticky tape, but I haven't got any at hand. Now I better put my top on the stamp pad because I've got a bit of ink there. Okay, so I've done that. So again, I'm going to use the 
foam tape to make the pocket. Just yell at me if I get out, come out of the screen. I forget. I've got these little markers on my board where it is, where the workstation part is. Have to remind myself. These are so cute. You could put a cinnamon on the front, but I left it because I just thought it looked more real like if it was like a real wallet. And you could probably emboss it with some snake-like, um, leather-like embossing folder. I'll have to have a look for some to see if I can get some. I might try this end because I'm running into the other end. This tape is not for the faint-hearted, but it is so good. And one thing you know, your project is going to be stuck forever. Oh. Maybe not forever, you've got a little bit of time. Okay, it is a bit forgiving. So I'm going to put that on the stitch virtually. Okay, so that one's done. Now, where's my other one? Okay, so I've done this one and this one. So they're gonna be the two pockets there. Oh, I've done a little mistake here. That's all right, it can be fixed. Okay, so we need Tape here. I had a mental note to do that. I probably should take notes. Okay, so before we stick this side down, which, like I said, it was a little bit forgiving. I'm just going to lift it up a bit. Just a bit to stick this in here. Oh gee, am I going to be able to get it in there? I should have put my... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Make sure you do that first. that has to go around there like that okay that won't look too bad when I've got that over it okay so then I'm going to make pockets out of these two as well so then if you did want to put money in a little gift card or a couple of little notes that you could write on because you do get this die that cuts the size of a gift card. So if you wanted to write that it was, you know, some special thing, you're going to mow the lawn or something for dad or something like that. Or date night, if it's for hubby. Not that we have date nights, but some people do. Like many. Not many of us have been out much since COVID. So crafting has taken over. Okay, so that's the first pocket. And then I'm gonna put the little second pocket. Yeah, so know that if you do do that, don't do that first, you can come back and tuck it in underneath. But I was able to do that. Next time I need to make a list of steps. But it's good to make mistakes because then people know that it's okay if they make a mistake. We're all human.
and if you didn't want to put use something like this tape you can use normal tape it just won't give you that little bit of depth for your pocket it'll just sit flat but you can still tuck things in with the flat one I might try the other side and this one like I said don't um, make sure you put it back on the plastic or or on some non-stick stuff because it will stick to your paper okay and that one fits flush with that one so you've just got to line it up and then you can either put that one in there or you can put it in there or you can put it in there okay so you've got endless possibilities there with that one so to finish this one we're going to use a little velcro dot these are fantastic i've used these in uh, the handbag that we did and the toolbox so you just put it on there put the other side down and then make sure you've got that there close it make sure it's flush and that's where it goes so i hope you like that i think it's quite cute actually that so that's a seven die set so lots of fun and i've used the um, new father's day stamps on both of them and that and the little velcro dots so quite quick and easy and don't forget that silicon foam tape i'll put um, links to all those in the comments so make sure you subscribe to our youtube and check out our facebook page and vip group and all the products are available at snazzyscrappin.com. Thank you. Bye.